Pam. I'm here today with another update on my Lumix GH3 conversion. I admitted on a hybrid hangout about color that I attended with uh, four of the other heroes and the x rite rep who were all about color and actually all about custom color that I had never done custom color. In my Nikon days I never used auto white balance because it was so awful so I used the presets and I did that pretty successfully but I always had to to futz and tweak in post. And then um, when I got my GH2, I used auto white balance for the first time successfully. I was pretty excited about that, but then the rest of the time I used the presets. And on that hangout, my, uh, there was some peer pressure, let's put it that way. And they convinced me that custom white balance is the way to go. And I have to admit I was a little afraid of it, not quite sure if I'd be able to figure it out, and that if I did, or once I did, it would be so complicated I wouldn't want to do it every time. And um, all of that, not so much the case. I'm going to show you how easy it is to set the custom white balance on your GH3. And I just did it on my GH2, which is what I'm using with the 12 to 35 to make this recording. So setting a custom white balance is easy to do and it's way worth it. By the way, on the GH2 and the GH3, once you set that custom white balance and then focus on your subject, you get to see through the um, viewfinder or if you're looking at the LCD panel, exactly the change that it made in the color. You'll know right away just how much better it is once you've got that custom white balance. So the things that you'll need to do a custom white balance um, is some sort of a gray card or something white. I've chosen to use my X-Rite Color Checker Pro Passport. I guess I should hold it this way. I'm not sure you can see the writing. It's black on black. And at the very back of it, there is the appropriate white card or gray card. I'm going to set up the camera now so you can see how that actually works. With the camera on, and I'm going to move in here and try to position the camera so that you can see the back of my camera. I am going to press right here, the white balance button. Having done that, and I'm going to get so I can see it and you can see it at the same time. That should be good. All right, so if I want to set the white balance, you'll notice that I have all the choices along the bottom here, okay? The one that I want is one of these custom white balance ones, so I'm just going to, I'm going to pick the number one, okay? And then you do an up press with the wheel here. So I press up and it gives me this little box in the center. Here we are back again. And once I have that box focused on my white card, I'm going to press the set button here. So not, I'm not going to shoot like a picture, even though it did make a shutter sound. And you notice it said completed on the display. That's it. That's all there was to it. Select white balance, select the custom setting that you want to use, press the up arrow, aim at a white target, press the center set button. It takes a picture, but that picture really is, it's not in, on your card. It's actually in memory now as the custom white balance. Well, that's so easy and it's so successful that I can't imagine not shooting that way. The only time it'll be problematic for me is when I'm doing my summer sports and I have clouds rolling in and then it's sunny and then cloudy and then sunny and the action never stops and I probably won't be able to stop and do a custom white balance then. I'll probably go with whatever is predominantly happening, either sunny or cloudy preset and deal with um, the rest in post. But for studio work or for any time when the conditions are going to be fairly stable, what an awesome and easy way to get the color right in camera first time and done. And I'm just so excited about it. So that's my little update on the GH3, setting the color balance, the white balance, and how easy it is. I'm Carol. I'm a dreamer. And I'm a portrait and action photographer in southeast Wisconsin. 
I am also a vlogger for Discover Mirrorless. So up here in the corner, or up here in the corner, since I can never figure out exactly where it is, somewhere up there, there is a place for you to subscribe to Discover Mirrorless, and you should definitely do that so that you get all the updates and you know when there's new great information, like this little post that, that just gives you a clue about how easy it is to do custom white balance and that it's really important. So, until next time, shoot lots, remember the video, and keep dreaming.